What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from AGS. If you guys did miss the last one, I recommend going to watch that first. There's a link to it in the description. Anyway, we left off with a 40 mil cash stack and some pretty nice gear. Now, the first upgrade I'm actually going to get, which you may call me stupid for, is the B-Ring. And you guys know, at the end of last episode, I actually sold that B-Ring. So you must be wondering, why did you sell it if you're going to buy it back? Well, I want to do some wrist fights and a plus 8 strength bonus or whatever it is when I imbue it. I think is going to be worth it. I'm also going to sell my um, self some dragon boots. I'm not always going to use these, but if I do do wrist fights, I'd rather have the dragon boots over the Eternals, as because the way you get the kills is obviously through the max hit and not through how often you cast your barrages. So I'm not going to use the dragon boots all the time. I might not even use the berserker ring all the time, but it's just there. So if I do do wrist fights or if I'm fighting someone where I need the max hit more than freezing potential, I'm going to use that. And my final upgrade is going to be the armadillo crossbow you know we were debating between the ancient wyvern shield and the armadillo crossbow last episode but i've decided to go with this just for a better dps output and you know it would just hit a lot higher than the dragon crossbow i'm actually not going to sell this dragon crossbow just yet because like there's no reason to you know i'm just going to keep it there plus the 4.9 mil cash stack after that we are going to try going for the ancient wyvern shield maybe the ancestral hat the arcane spirit shield anyway if you guys do enjoy this video hit that like button subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys later let's go and view this uh B ring real quick so about a 94 mil wrist fight versus oda block this probably is not the smartest idea but it could pay off huh so he, basically this was my first fight and I, obviously i'm not going to be recording any commentary for a 100 mil wrist fight it's kind of scary you know uh you see i did get a nice little bolt there and tried to go for a spec basically in these fights you're basically just trying to age us gmo them and hope for some good rng get it off prayer in their robes stuff like that um you basically just have the one ticket and hope for some good rng here you can see I, I'm about to go in for a spec. I get a nice ball off, like what, uh, 32. He switches into his robes and I AGS him a 30, 330 XP drop and he tabs on my spec. That was our first fight, so I was like, okay, you know what, maybe it's whatever. But I told him if he tabbed on my spec again, I wouldn't fight him again. I, that, was probably, that probably was my best chance to kill him because I could have got him right there for everything. He would have died like 100% pretty much. So eventually after a couple fights he stopped using the combo we agreed on and he pulled out some carols like full carols and then armadillo thing where the, like the carols crossbow is like a really fast weapon so you can basically one tick into anything so at first i thought this was just a really stupid combo as he had pretty much very low defense bonus i didn't know how well it was gonna hit and i just thought it was a very stupid idea and i've never seen it done before but what i actually realized he was trying to do is he could basically stack a carols crossbow hit a AGS whack and the two Gmail specs basically all in one little like hit splat so he could hit me for 121 HP pretty easily if he got it off prayer he could get like um, the cows uh, full set effect hit me like a double 20 he could AGS whack me a 50 the double Gmail will be a 30 and I guess that's what he was going for I didn't realize this at first so I you know I was kind of a, I was kind of like okay this should be an easy kill now but I didn't realize how good the, that combo he was using was actually doing he still had the ACB in the inventory he was streaming this so I know he wasn't like scamming me or anything but I was just a little bit confused about this whole setup he was doing. As you guys have uh, seen, I've, I've shown you a lot of clips so far where I potentially could have killed him. Here you can see I get a 27 barrage, 10 venom into the 63 AGS. He actually like eight, so if I hit a 72 with that, I would have killed him. And then my Gmo also could have killed him, but he, and he, as he was on full robes, but he tabbed on my Gmo spec again. 
And after about finally one hour of wrist fighting, this happens. So a 19 cows crossbow into a like a 36 AGS whack, 35 Gmol, 30 Gmol spec. 119 damage. Yikes. 94 mil down the drain. Luckily we saw the Serp Helm, the Dragon Crossbow, our Eternal Boots, and a little bit of cash stack left. So we have like a 25 mil bank, I think. And we could go buy our AGS back. It just sucks after so many of those attempts and uh, so many kill chances even though even some where he tabbed on the specs where I'm pretty sure I could have got him. That's how it had to end. I was feeling pretty confident about the fights. But oh well, after an hour, you know, that's what RNG does to you, I guess. Good fight to Oda Block. Alright, so we lost our AGS, but we do have all of this left. So let's just sell it really quickly. I think that will sell right away. Yep. Serap Helm as well, Eternal Shoes. You know, we have a decent bit of money. We will be able to buy that AGS back. These Sanfus are expensive as fuck. But obviously, we don't need them anymore. Armadil Godsword is around, what is it, 20, will that buy for mid price? No, I think I'll have to put it in for 21 mil. We'll have like 3 mil cash left over, and it's time to rebuild again. I understand a lot of you guys, you know, you get tired of seeing me die and rebuilding, but I think that's the whole point of the series, you know, is to progressively build up my gear and risk it all every time I get it. Potentially make it to the end, but probably not. That's what makes it fun for me, but if you guys don't want to watch that, that's up to you. Anyway, AGS, 3.2 mil cash deck, a Sears ring, 10 DDSs, all these supplies. We can go buy ourselves a PK set, and uh, let's go PKing and try to rebuild again. Oh, sad robes, man. No, 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 we gotta take him instead. Wait, why did it not click him? Why did it not click him? Okay, we got the hit on, which means we should be able to freeze him. Cash is freeze. Don't tell me he's got me. Sick. OMG did her. I'm sorry, man, you're dead, I think. Yep, good fight. Okay, he's dead, but can I catch this other guy? I literally just, like, three hit that dude. Alright, that, okay, the Weldy Slayer guy is gone, but we've just killed the Solid Robe Warrior. Uh, some pretty standard loot, let's just get it all in the bag, I don't think anyone's gonna hit us right now. So, yeah. Let's get it all in the loony bag. Sorry, I had to kill you, STCPS, if you're watching this, but you understand. You understand, you watch the vids. Looting bag coming in clutch again, 200k plus the runes and the bolts. Sick, good fight, man. I wonder if this guy's gonna fight me. Non-retired, level 100. He just hit me with the OMFG. Ditter Bitter, that is my name. And he's just gonna run now? Oh no, he's gonna fight, I think. No, he's... I'm confused. I just can't catch a freeze. This is this is super... Okay, we caught one. I'm proud of us. That room plate legs, man. It's an impervious... I don't even know if that's the correct word. Oh my god, there's another one. It's a Zerker team. I just can't hit any... Well, it's not a Zerker team, because this guy's obviously not a Zerker. I haven't hit a single thing on this guy, dude. Does he have 99 defense, or do I? I'm a little bit confused. There I go. I hit a 24 into the staff bash. You know, I'm really performing at a, a whole other level. Oh, he's got the sod robes. Is he dead? Into the Gmo. Oh, he's dead to the AGS. Good fight. 58 for the KO. Is his friends coming to save him? It wasn't even my loot. Huh, it's all appearing. They don't even know it's there. There's so many people just standing around, but they all have a full invent of bruise. I think I have pit anyway. Yeah, I got the majority of it. Alright, successfully gotten out of there. 320k in the loony bag. And, uh, yeah, I was a little bit surprised that wasn't my loot. I guess he was, like, multi pking or something. I don't really know. Killed this guy yesterday in max. Don't worry about it. We killed this guy yesterday in max, and, uh, I think we're actually gonna fight in real gear now, so good luck to you. Let's catch a freeze there. Um, because, you know, yesterday people just run away from you when you're in max gear, so I guess when you're in down gear, pe people actually fight you. Is he gonna pray melee there? I would pray melee there. Well, he actually didn't do it. I'm gonna go for a... Actually, no, I'm gonna fake that. He's gonna pray melee, going for a bolt. We'll hit a zero. A little bit awkward. That was not how the plan was meant to go. Pre range there? Oh, fuck. Okay, is that a fake you? Oh, no, he actually went for the barrage, but he had his chaps on. Still hit a 12, so fair play, I guess. I'm sitting pretty low HP right now. One AGS is all I need to die. 48 HP, it's not very smart. He's praying melee himself. Get a bunt. Oh, damn, if I got a nice bolt there. I really should not be sitting this low, huh? Okay, I gotta eat. It's too scary. It's too scary. Pray. I'm scared he's just gonna spec me out. I see it coming. I'm just gonna go in for mine. Into the Gmo, dead? Good fight. 56 24. As he came in for his spec, I anti stacked him. Pretty decent loot on the ground that I can see. No Sears ring, doesn't look like it. Nah, he had a ring of dueling on. Still pretty decent loot. Let's get it all in the, uh, in the looting bag for a nice price check. 
We're building up this uh, rune stack as well, which is really nice. Right. 620k in the looting bag. Very nice loot. Oh my god, a Zerker and a Toxic Staff. He's just gonna run for sure, but if I can catch a freeze. Hey man, what's up, dude? Going for a spec? Into the Gmol? Is he dead? Oh my god, I'm so. Oh. I'm sorry. He just drops the. Oh. This is. You, you can't be typing in the wild, man. You're meant to be fighting, tanking, you know? Hit him with the Aegis Gmol. Did he have a Sears Ring or anything? Was he multi PKing? No, it looks like he has a singles PKing inventory. Actually, no, he had a lot of Manta Rays. Might have been multi PKing. Either way, good fight. I, saw, I thought I saw Dragon Boots for a second, but he's a Zerker. I think that's going to be some pretty decent loot, so let's get it along the looting bag. Good fight, man. 530k loot. Not bad at all. Good fight, man. So if this guy wants to fight, he's running right away. I just hit him with a big-ass ball. I feel like this pure will PJ me if I get too close to killing him, though. Let's just go for the spec. Oh, he would have died there for sure if I didn't uh, get frozen. But, I mean, he froze me, so it's whatever. Catch a freeze there. Nice. Oh my god, that guy's in like some pretty good gear. Put a ball in, pray range. I want to go for the AGS GMO on this guy, because I feel like if I do AGS in a big number and I don't kill him, this pure is just going to PJ me off. So, you know, I need to do something about that. Let's take off the auto. He's going to pray melee there for sure. Yep. Get a nice ball off, please. Damn. Catch a freeze. Put a ball in, pray mage. Catch a pray mage right there. Nice. Put a ball in. I might be able to set up a spec in a second if I don't get frozen. Even if I do get frozen, I do have anglers, so I don't have to brew down. Fuck, dude, he freezes me every time I'm about to go in. Fair play to the man. I just misclicked the super combat by mistake. That's awkward. I'm gonna have to use the anglers then, huh? Let's just eat up. All the way, catch a freeze. We'll be unfrozen in like 10 seconds. So, like one freeze. One more freeze. He's gonna pray melee though, I think. Just go in for it. Oh, he prayed melee. And I wasted the spec. I wasted the spec. I'm a stupid face. I'm just gonna go in for it. Please, I whacked him. I actually whacked him. I could have hit like a 37 there and killed him pretty easily. I'm going in. I don't care even if it's on pre and I hit a zero. Wait. Seems to be a lot of action up on that hill. I'm probably gonna get PJ'd off if I do come close to killing this guy. Just hit him with a DD there. Fake the AGS. He's gonna pre melee. Nice. Oh, he might freeze DD on me. pre melee. Oh my god, I thought he killed me right there. Come on, bulk KO, bulk KO, he's dead, he's dead, good fight. I think he stayed till too little food. Good fight, man. Torag's plate legs, I don't know what else. That's some pretty decent loot, I think we'll be close to our mill, hopefully. Okay, successfully gotten out with 788k in the looting bag. Okay, so after a couple fights, I actually hit up Ian Pierce, ma'am. You might know him as the demo mode caster or Twitch streamer for an AGS tribrid wrist fight deathmatch. You know, I did some uh, death matches earlier with Staff of Dead Wrist and won all three of those. I actually did a couple fights with Ian in my last series and I did manage to take him for about 30 mil. So I was pretty confident I could win this fight. However, I was used to double D hides and using an Ava switch. In this uh, fight, we actually used uh, DI top and a rune plate skirt, which has some pretty bad defense bonuses compared to like Torex plate legs, which I uh, usually use if I do bring a tank leg. So yeah, a little bit of a different setup. We matched Bruise and everything. He was streaming the fight. And an AGS wrist, which means if we did lose this, our series is over. All right, I think he's, uh, I don't know what he did. I don't know why he just dropped the AGS for me, but he's out of food. Looks like the DM's done. Good fight, man. AGS and profit. I don't know why he ran away. I think we we're just doing an AGS first fight. Look at him making his excuses. You're so lucky. Let me show him how much supplies I've got left. 
Okay, so maybe I was lucky because right after this we did another AGS wrist fight and then this happened. So that's a little bit awkward. We won an AGS, I got greedy, I did another fight and I lost an AGS. So we basically made no money and just wasted supplies. Right, so obviously we didn't lose our tent and our series ring when we did that wrist fight because we didn't bring the tent and we used the B ring. So we've actually bumped up our wrist for about 5 mil and uh, this person just PM'd me saying they wanted to do a wrist fight. I said this is all like a risk, but it's whatever. I think they're going to be risking just a tiny bit more. So obviously they have the better gear, but I have more to profit. So it's like sort of an even trade. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we win. Okay, we're about to fight. One, two, five combat. Catch a freeze. Nice. So she has the arms defense bonus. Oh shit, she caught a freeze on me right away. Prey mage there. Okay, a normal whip. That's interesting. I haven't seen one of those in a little bit, huh? I don't really have the tent, so I can't exactly... I mean, I do have the tent, but I'm frozen right now, obviously, so I can't use it. I think if I ca just catch her in the robes or... Actually, no, does she have a tank bottom? Okay, she has dragon plate legs. Prey mage. Catch a freeze. I don't know if, I can, if I'm going to be, be able to hit pretty high with my dragon uh, through the dragon plate legs, so I kind of just want to get in the arm. So that's a big bolt. Doesn't change the prayers, and he's dead. Just going for the spec. Dead? Oh my god, I should have g mold. I should have g mold. I'm an idiot. I actually just should have g mold. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I not Gmall? Alright, well, it's too, it's too late to dwell on the pass now. I could have got right there. Oh my god. She's, okay, she's risking, like, I'd say maybe five more mil than me. Nah, I gotta go over for the spec there. Please, dead. Oh, what? Is that not dead? She's so lucky. Whip, KO. Oh my god. God sir, whack. Oh, fuck. i my wrong gear now. Freeze. Oh, there's a God sword. Per melee. Anti it. Whack her as she comes in. Oh, I hit a zero. I need to eat. I'm scared. I'm scared. If I'm, I'm risking, like, more than I can afford. Pray my life. Holy fuck. I'm, I double-click my prayers. I'm, I'm a whale. I'm actually a whale. This is why I die for max every day. Okay. Frozen there, so she can't AGS me. Oh, fuck. Full HP now. I don't even have spec. I don't know how I'm going to get that kill. Catch a freeze. Okay, I'm 30 seconds away from spec, so if we fight for that long, I might be able to get an... I might be able to kill her. But apart from that, I really... Maybe I should, like stall because i don't want her tabbing i want to get the spec in before the fight's over so maybe just hit her on prayer on purpose and then when i get my spec obviously you know start actually doing some damage I'm praying range right here i'm just gonna uh keep bolting her i want to fakey the ags right now i just want to spec it it's such a perfect time to spec oh my god i just got spec what, what okay she's just ate as well it's like she knew okay let's eat there Put a bolt in. Oh fuck! I'm scared. Like, I'm, if I if I lose this, I've just I've lost everything. Oh, the skeleton's gonna PJ me. No, it's not. Oh, that would have been the perfect opportunity, but she froze me. Damn it. Put a bolt in. Just come into me. Going for the spec there. Dead. Please. A fucking 26. I see BA. That could have been it. That could have been it right there. Oh fuck. For range. There we go. I wonder if the, give me a D fire. Did I just DC? No, I'm fine. I'm scared she's just gonna one tick that AGS. I can't be sitting on 61 HP. Prey mage right there. Oh, that could be it. Come in, come in, come, come in for a spec. Come in for a spec. Change your prayers. Oh, I got a whack KO there. I think. Praying range. Whack KO, please. Another zero. Another zero. I'm scared to take off prey melee right now because I'm in robes 56 HP. Uh, catch a freeze. Put a bolt in. There's a nice. She still hasn't used either of her specs. So that's what I'm worried about, right? Oh, there's a spec primarily on it. Nice. Bolt. So this is when she's out of food, and apparently we were DMing. I had no uh, clue that we were, but I did tell her how many brews we were using, I guess, so I guess it was fine. If I knew it was a DM, I probably wouldn't have done it, to be honest, because of the gear, massive gear difference. I probably would have lost. But it's whatever. I matched out last time. I think it's because of all the good specs I had at the start. Either way, good fight. If they want to DM, we can DM, I guess. Catch a freeze there. I think I think she's out of food. I only had three brews left, to be fair. Good fight. I think I really should have got her earlier off with the specs. Uh, damn, that's actually decent, Lou. What the fuck? I was not expecting that much risk. I thought it was like an 8 mil rest. That's more like 10 mil, I think. Sir Helm as well. Arms top and bottom. Damn. And a B ring. Okay, let's drop the brew. Alright, I think that's a lot of money right there. We've just made a lot of money back, I think. Not as much as the wrist fights with Ian. 
Well, I mean, we didn't make any money off that because we lost an AGS as well as making one. Serp Helm, Beering, Whip. Oh shit, this is over a 10 mil PK. I actually didn't, I didn't realize how much some of that shit was worth. 14 mil PK, good fight. Damn. Okay, so we've got a lot of money in our invent. I don't think I want the B-ring just yet, so I'm going to sell that. I don't think I want the arms top or bottom either, so I'm going to sell that. I don't think I want the whip or the dragon plate legs. What I do want are the D shoes and the serpentine helm and the blessed spirit shield. So we've just collected ourselves a nice 8.8 .8 mil cash deck. And we also currently have a 1.3 mil cash deck and quite a few supplies and PK sets that we PK today. Um, yep, yeah, 10 mil cash deck, serpentine helm, looking pretty good. Alright, I got a fight with this guy, you should dip. It's max combat, he's got 126, let's go 99 prayer. He's a rich man. GL, this isn't like a high risk fire or anything. I do have my Sears ring, but I banked my 10 because I frankly just don't want to lose it. Because that's like another 3.5 mil I have to spend. Uh, I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to kill this guy. I don't have D shoes or any good strength bonus. You can probably max like a 72 with my GMO. I don't really know. Let's eat a food there. Nice. Pray mage. Okay, good. We're doing well. We're really not doing well. We're down a lot of food. This isn't a DM though, so hopefully I can get the kill. I just need to figure out what kind of HP he's hitting at, if I really need to use this GM all or not to get the kill. Doesn't look like he's eating that high right now. Well, neither am I, to be fair. I'm sitting on 37 HP. Probably not the smartest decision. He's got the tank legs as well. I gotta remember that. My specs might not always hit 1,000%. Okay, I think he's eating right there. Fuck me, what happened? Don't tell me he forgot something. Pray melee there. I'm gonna go for the spec. Dead into the Gmol. I just hit a double zero zero on robes. I CBA, dude. Whack. A 30. This game is genuinely trolling me. I think I'm unfrozen here. I'm going in for it. Oh, I'm not even unfrozen. I can't count to save my life. He's gonna pray melee there. Now I go. In. Oh, what? I'm still frozen. Jesus Christ. Going for it now. Dead into the. Oh my god. The hits. The hits are not treating us. <gasps> He's countering us. I'm scared. Okay, we got a pray melee on in time. Alright, third fight on this guy. We've had kill chances both times, which I think he should have died in, like, multiple times. But he's outlasting us every fight right now by, like, a couple brew sips. So, I'd say he's a, he might be a better brit than me, but I'm getting better chances, if that makes sense. Like, right now, I'm pretty sure I could go in for the kill. Dead? Gmol? He's getting so lucky with the shit. Please, just whack him dead. A four. I honestly, I just... Oh, I'm so frustrated. He's getting so lucky. And then somehow he outlasts me. This guy has survived many AGS Gmalls on robes, and I think to oh, I was about I was gonna make like some really cringy, like dramatic entrance into my next spec, but I got frozen, so it's like you know, it's kinda awkward, JX. It's like you want my YouTube to fail or something. Have I just DC'd? No, we're back. I was oh, I was, I just had a mini heart attack. I was like, right. That's been happening a lot recently, like these little lag specs. I don't know if it's world lag or what. I should probably stop talking on 60 HP and start eating. Catch a freeze there. I just want to drop this spec if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, he's full HP. I thought I was. <gasps> he tried anti stacking me. Thank god I got my prey melee on in time and realized what was happening, dude. Fucking hell. You can go in for another one there as well. I gotta be careful. There's the whack. Catch a freeze. Come on. Oh dear. We're sitting low, but I want to go for the spec. Oh my god, I'm misclicking so hard. Come on, give me a big freeze. There we go. Give me a nice bolt. I'm gonna go in for it right now. Dead, please. Dead? 66 for the KO. Good fight, man. We finally got him. After countless attempts. GG to you, dude. Ooh, he had a Sears ring as well. That's some decent loot, then. Let's pick that all up. No looting bag, obviously. We're in Edgeville. We don't need a looting bag. After he's count tanked our countless specs, we finally got him. We, even though he outlasted us, you know, we got the kill, and that's all that matters. Who cares about outlasting when he can get the kill? Good fight, dude. Alright, let's price check that real quick. If it opens, Torex plate like Sears ring. This might be close to a mil as well. Oh, that's super awkward. Let's price check this. Should be close to a mil. Uh, coins, arm stuff, granite mall. 1.2 mil PK. Very nice. Good fight, man. All right, guys. Obviously, we've PK'd a lot of money in this episode, especially with that big like 14 mil PK, I think it was. Then a couple other PKs here and there. Uh, I think we're going to save selling and upgrades till tomorrow. Obviously, we sold the big thing, but we're going to get the upgrades tomorrow. If you guys did enjoy the video, Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.